Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you five different LinkedIn bio tools that you can use to add a central link to your social media pages or anywhere where you want to compile a list of links and that is mobile friendly. So let's get started. The first link in bio that we wanted to share with you is called link.bio and if we go to link.bio you'll see that it looks kind of like this and some of the pros that we found with this tool was that you can actually have multiple pages especially three for free so if we go to this link.bio and if you wanted new pages to this you can actually click my pages here and you can add pages like this and this is really useful if you're looking for a link in bio solution because sometimes you want to separate your different pages so that not everything is just on one page so this is a really good solution for this the other thing that was really unique was that the video embed includes the play button directly inside and some link in bios had some problems with adding a for example youtube video in the link in bio and when we tried it with this link.bio, it showed up much better. So if we click view live, you'll see a sample that we created. And we just added our latest YouTube video here. And as you can see, it looks quite nice like this. And if we made it into more of a mobile format, you'll see that it looks quite nice in this video embed. There was also a lot of free theme options with link.bio. And... If we go here and you click themes, you'll see a huge list of LinkedIn bio themes that are all mainly for free. So they're not really blocked by payments and this is quite useful as well. And if you want to change the look of this, you can go to layout and you can change the way that the mobile layout looks like or the desktop layout like this. And you can see multiple options from photo galleries and so on. So there's a lot of customization you can do with link.bio, but one of the downsides to it was that there is really not much font options. So if you wanted a different kind of font, you do have to upgrade to access the feature. So right now you can only get sentence case or uppercase. And some of the sh other shortcomings were sort of its clunky design. So when you do design your link in bio, it looks like this. So you have to add different sections by blocks and it's just a little bit difficult to use and you won't really see the actual result until you click view live. So this could be a downside to using this, but overall it's quite functional and there's many things that you can do. And the other thing that was the problem was that adding your own color is really difficult. So if we go here and you want to change the background color, you'll notice that the wallpaper is also locked by upgrade. And if we wanted to click color, you only have three color options and you can only upgrade to access this feature. So this is kind of too bad in terms of a link in bio because normally other free link in bio solutions have way more color options. So this would be one of the downsides to using link.bio. And if we compare the pricing with this one, you can see that it's actually quite affordable. So if we go to the pricing page, you'll see that the free plan has unlimited links. It has embed music and video, map, Zapier integration, WordPress integration, and no hidden costs and up to three pages. And then they have this mini and unique plan and they have a lot more things going on in here. And of course you could change your color and way more with these paid plans. And the paid plans are priced pretty reasonably. So this is only 99 cents a month. And if you just paid one time, it's 9.99. And this one time is really nice because often they charge you per month so that you just cannot get out of it unless you want to quit using the link in bio. So it's nice that you can just pay once and that's it for this. So this is definitely a cheaper option that has everything you probably need for your link in bio needs. The next link in bio that we wanted to share with you is called Linktree. And this is one of the most popular link in bios out there. And some of the pros for this link in bio was that it's very easy to use. There's a nice UI with the link in bio shown on a phone, for example. So if we go to this link tree, we've made a sample link in bio here. And you can notice that everything gets reflected on this phone on the right hand side, which is super useful and intuitive when designing. And everything is draggable. 
So it's definitely easier to use than the previous one that we showed you. And the other thing was that it's completely customizable with colors and buttons. So if we go here and you wanted to customize the appearance, you can click appearance. And then you could simply go down and you, there's a bunch of themes here. So for example, if you click on a theme, you'll notice that you can just immediately change the look based on the theme. And if you wanted to really do your own customization, you can choose either flat color or gradient. And of course, these are locked by upgrade. But then the best part is that you can actually customize colors using hex codes. So this is really nice if you have a brand color, like very specific brand color that you really want on your LinkedIn bio. And you can just do this for free. And next, you can customize your buttons as well with all of these options and as well as button colors, button font color, and shadow color, none of these are locked. And even the fonts, there are multiple fonts that are free, so you can choose from any of these until the lock sign to customize it. So this is a really great option for free link in bio. And if we go to links here, you can also add a bunch of links through this intuitive UI. And the one thing that we didn't really like too much is that there are some problems with embedding videos that we weren't able to figure out why it wasn't working. So we tried to put our YouTube, latest YouTube video in, but unfortunately it didn't really show it as an image like it should. And we're not sure if this was a bug, but either way, this was not very intuitive. If we click here for video options, it's kind of unclear what all of these options are. And then we also thought that the icons don't look that great. The, these icons you can put next to the link is quite limited. So as you can see, there is this video icon next to it that we chose. But overall, if we go to this thumbnail, set thumbnail, and then choose from tabler icons, then you have to choose from these options. So it's not like you can choose your custom icon next to it and they look a bit clunky. And the other thing was that it doesn't seem like you can add multiple pages to this. So we were looking into this, but it doesn't look like you can add pages. And that could be a very big feature that you might want in your LinkedIn bio that other solutions do offer. And finally, the pricing is 4 to 22 euros a month if you're not in the free plan. And if we take a look at the pricing plan, you'll see that there are these kinds of options in the paid plan. So there could be upgraded style options, affiliate marketing tools, scheduling, and so on. And if you pay $22 a month, there is even more functions. But overall, we think that this free plan works quite well. There's unlimited links and so on. So this one works really well. If you're just looking for a basic link and bio solution, it's very easy to use and we highly recommend it. So the next one we wanted to show you is called beacons.ai. And this was one of the best link and bios that we found. And it was just really easy to set up the moment that you start using it. So it has some kind of AI help that just takes all of your, for example, your information from a social media account and it'll even use the logo there. So we didn't even have to upload our own logo image and it just did it for you. So if we go to beacons.ai, you can see kind of what it came up with for us. We did add our video here and some other things, but mainly this was all done by Beacons itself. Even the slogan here, organize your life with Notion, it somehow came up with that using AI. So this is very magical and we really like this link in bio solution. It also allows you to have multiple pages, two pages max on the free plan, which is quite generous. Of course, the first option we showed you had three pages max for the free plan. But even this is quite nice that you have the option to add other pages in case you need to add more information into a next page. And the other thing was that you can even include email sign up through Beacons, MailChimp or Zapier. So if you're looking for email subscribers, this could be a really good way to add a subscription 
directly from your LinkedIn bio like this. And some other things were the store possibility. We haven't tried this ourselves, but it seems like if you wanted to sell things from your LinkedIn bio, this is also very much doable. So there's like an empty store block here and you could add it. And if we go to my pages, you can see that there is this store. And if we click here, you can set up the store. So you can either create your own digital product or import product. So this seems very nice if you're trying to sell directly from your LinkedIn bio. And the layout options were really nice as well. If you wanted to change the design here, you can choose your classic portrait banner. You have multiple profile picture options, even the profile picture size and you can add social icons like this even the header format you can change so if you like this style versus this style it's doable and all of the block styles transparency fonts even page navigation so the customization here is really nice and it looks really nice as well and even the way that you design the link in bio is quite intuitive so whenever you add something you add it as a block so your links are in a block for example, if you want to add YouTube, it's in a block. So everything is quite easy to use like this. So we were thinking of some cons and to be honest, there's really not any cons here. Everything is really easy to set up. Everything looks great. There's so much customization options and it's very easy to use because you also get this phone on the right hand side where you can see what it's going to look like as well. And the one thing is that if we go over to the pricing, the Paid plan is considerably higher than the other options. So if we go to our paid plan here, you'll notice that this is the free section, which includes a lot already. You can sell digital products. You can pretty much have unlimited links and multiple pages. But if you do need these extra paid things, such as a custom domain or importing your email list, removing Beacon's brand branding, then you do have to pay $30 a month, which is quite pricey compared to the other options. And then there's even the VIP, which is $100 a month. So we recommend this for people who are really serious about selling and using social media as their main website. So this could actually replace your website if you're looking for a one solution for selling, getting email subscribers and so on straight from a link in bio. Then the next link in bio tool we wanted to show you is called bento.me and this is a really great link in bio solution if you're really just looking for a simple but beautiful UI for your link in bio and as you can see even the website is quite nice you can see that everything gets in this block system where you can reorganize it inside this bigger block so that everything looks really balanced and quite nice aesthetically and you can add your own photos and so on and use this to share as your link in bio so if we go to the one that we made as a sample you'll see that we just added some things and you can even change the shape like this so it only comes in five different shape formats and you can just drag it around like this until you like how it looks and it's just a really nice experience to create this bento.me and it's 100% free. So if we turned it into more of a mobile format, you'll see that it's just very clean design and it's really up to you how you want to set it up and how you want it to look like. And it's kind of easy to subscribe here as well or follow with these buttons. And if we check our pros for bento.me, we said that it's very easy to use, drag and drop. It looks clean and formatted. We also love the design of the boxes. And the cons were that there's really no real customization options in terms of fonts or colors. So if you're looking for a little more than what's included, this might not be the best for you. But if you're looking for a really simple link and bio solution, we highly recommend this one. And it's just easy to use. And finally, we wanted to share with you a great link in bio option, which is to use Notion. And Notion is a great tool for link in bios because of its endlessly customizable layout. It's very easy to embed videos and more, including Google Maps and so on. And it has a really easy to design block design. And you can even customize your icons and cover photos. 
So it's just a really great way to be able to customize the way that you want it. And especially if you really like Notion style already, then this could be a great way to just make your link in bio this way. So we're just going to show you our own link in bio, which we've created with Notion. So as you can see, we made our own cover photo here and we've embedded a YouTube video that we made recently. And we even have our upcoming workshops here and all of our website, YouTube, TikTok, and so on here, and including an email address so people can contact us. So this is really what all we really wanted from a link in bio. You can see that you can even customize the icons here with custom icons. So if you're not happy with Notion zone icons or the emojis, you can also do that as well as change the colors in the box. So if we go to color, you'll see all of these options as well. And some of the cons that we had for Notion link in bios is that there's really only three font options by default. Of course, you can use codes if you really wanted to add different fonts, but for us, we like the Notion fonts. And if we click the three dots on the right hand side, you can change it to mono, serif, or default. So this is very sufficient for us. And the other thing was that you have to use a link shortening tool if you don't want the long Notion link. So that was another downside to using Notion, but all in all, we don't really see this as being a problem. And actually what it does is it makes it even more customizable in that you don't have to go with that company's link. You can shorten it with whatever link shortening tool that you want to use. And it's not going to show any kind of weird branding on the bottom like some other link in bios, especially in the free plan. And the pricing is free, so there's no such thing as a monthly fee that you have to pay to use the link in bio. Of course, there are plus plans and so on in Notion, but for link in bio, you're not going to need that. And we also wanted to share our link in bio templates that we've created. So we have a link in bio bundle pack, which I'll leave in the description below. But basically, we've created a whole bunch of styles for you, and we highly recommend customizing it yourself as well. So if we just take, for example, our blue link in bio, we've created something like this. You could put your own photo here. You could embed your own video. And we've included all these custom icons for you. So we highly recommend you to check those out. And there's even instructions on how to customize it with step-by-step -step videos so that you can really make the most out of Notion's link in bio possibilities. So those were our five different link in bio tools that we recommend and our thoughts and comparisons between them. We hope that this was useful for you. Let us know in the comments if you use any of these link in bio tools or which one is your favorite link in bio tool. And if there was any questions, comments, or anything confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.